Excellent, it's good that you're here because we're still talking about arc length, uh, which is a part of the circumference of a circle. Uh, and we have already solved a couple of questions. However, this is a new situation where they just give me a part of a circle. It looks like just a little bit less than a quarter of a circle. And this, is, this angle is what? It's 75, 80, 85 degrees. A little bit less than 90 anyway. They give me the arc length, yeah, 5.5, and they give me a radius, 4. And now the question is, yeah, what is that angle, x? Okay, well there's no reason uh, to get nervous yeah, because we just write down all the things we know about arc length. Because what did we say? Well, if we have the entire circumference of a circle, 2 pi r, and we times that by that part of the circle we're interested in, which is the angle, which is x in this case, out of 360, then we would get the arc length, yeah, the perimeter of that part we're interested in, which now is 5.5, okay? So yes, I was a little bit nervous perhaps in the beginning, or at the beginning, uh, however, just by writing the things down I know about this topic, I all of a sudden have an equation here. Because 2 times pi times the radius is 4 times x out of 360 should equal 5.5. Still looks a little bit scary, yeah? So knowing that pi is a number, eh, 3.1415 something, Let's start simplifying it a little bit. 2 times pi times 4 equals, okay? Now, I'm not saying you should have to follow this path, yeah, but that's what I'm doing anyway. Uh, and equals 5.5. I get all these numbers, I'm gonna write them all down. It's 25.13274. 1, 2, 3 times x out of 360. Now, if you do it like this, make sure you write down all those decimals eh, because you cannot round in the middle of your calculations. Yeah? But perhaps you could also have just said 8 pi x, yeah? because this starts to look a little bit messy with all those numbers. But okay, just to show you, how would I solve an equation like this? How do I rearrange it? Yeah. Well, you should get rid of that fraction, and we multiply both sides, therefore, by 360. So I'm going to get 25.23274123x, and that equals 5.5 times 360, yeah, 1980, okay? The year I was born, by the way. Well, that's a coincidence. Anyway, so 8 pi x equals 1980. Yeah, so x equals 1980 divided by 25.13274123. Yeah, and hopefully, you agree with me again that perhaps it would have been easier to have said 8 pi. Just leave it like that. 8 pi is a number. It's 25 point and a lot of other numbers, yeah? 8 pi, 8 pi x equals 1980. So x equals 1980 divided by 8 pi, and then you would put it on your calculator. Anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, that these are just numbers, yeah? So there's nothing to scare, be scared about. You've, you've been rearranging formulas similar to this one already for a long time. Anyway, 1980 divided by 25.1327-4123 equals, and my calculator tells me that equals to 78.7816 and a couple of other decimals. Now, I'd like to say again, that if you do go for this option, writing them all down, you have to write them all down. You cannot say, oh, that's about 25 or 25.1 here. No, because if I round here, it's gonna affect my final answer. I'm gonna lose points because it is not accurate enough. X is an angle, so how do I round this one? To one decimal place. Angles you round to one decimal place. So my first decimal is a seven, I have two options, it stays a seven or it goes up to an eight. 
and it goes up to an 8, that puts the next one as a 5 or higher. So 78.8 degrees. Okay, so that is my answer. And just going back to the question, I said, well, it's a little bit less than a quarter of a circle, isn't it? Yeah, I said, well, wow, 80 degrees, 78.8 degrees. Yeah, so that's, that indicates that I'm correct. Now, a lot of numbers, it looks quite messy. Uh, I'm gonna do one more, uh, and I'm just gonna leave it as a pi, and I'm not gonna write down those numbers, just to give you a better picture of what you're doing. But anyway, the answer, 78.8 degrees, yeah, which is the angle here, and that is gonna give me a perimeter, yeah, an arc length of 5.5 .5 with a radius of four. See you at the next video.